All right, YouTube. I know I look a little weird right now, but I uh, just got off work and at my door was another surprise my phone. I actually uh, walked into the ocean with my phone in my pocket on Friday, so uh, I was actually posting a video at the time too, and it was only 26% done. And then I started playing with fishies and it just went kaput. So um, I'm gonna have to do another video, but there's a few things I wanted to talk about as well in this one because there have been a few things that I've gotten since then. So um, it's gonna be one big video of a couple of different things that I got in the mail from friends and everything. So um, I think I actually already posted one on my Mickey's Orchid haul with my Stanhopia, with my, um, oh, this is gorgeous. Look at that, already in bloom, and I just got it last week. So that, that is a Cymbidium. Uh, it's my first Cymbidium, and it is not named. If anybody knows the ID of that one, I mean, she is gorgeous, and it's not going to focus. There it is. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. If anybody knows the name, please let me know. It does not have a scent. But anyway, um, let's go ahead and show you what my friend Robbie got me. So I think I could find them all. I think I have them all around here. Um, I mean, this is this is what I'm working with right now. I've got things just everywhere. Uh, we are moving on the 15th, so that'll be exciting. Uh, I get to look at the yard, start planning out my greenhouse. So I cannot wait for that. I cannot wait to do a couple more orchid experiments in that greenhouse. My hair looks horrible today. I just got done with work. But um, let's go ahead and show you what my friend Robbie got me. So I did just do this video, but again, as I said, it didn't go through. So I'm going to try to do this really quickly. So here's one that I got. Now, I don't know if I like doing it this way. I like doing it while I'm sitting down. But anyway, this is a Vanda uh, Pachira Delight Pachira. So that one is actually going to be a full-size Vanda. I was actually a little disappointed. I thought it was going to be like a Neo-Phoenicia Falcata or something, or Neo-Style, uh, which I know is no longer called Neo-Phoenicia, so don't get mad at me. I just have not learned the new name. Uh, but anyway, um, I was hoping it was going to be a miniature. It's not a miniature, which is fine with me. Hey, it's still an orchid. But I did receive one do, do, do. So this one is a Vanda Varicorn in Morali Carmella. So this is a miniature. It's almost like a Neo style. And I'll show it to you. It's already falling out of the pot. Um, and the roots do not look that good on this one. But I'll get it back up and healthy. There's my Grammatophyllum Tiger Paw. If you can see it, she's doing really good. Okay, this one's going to be a really weird video. So I have two, two little growths coming up on my tiger paw, which I'm very excited about. Okay, any up here? Yes. Okay. Um, this one right here is also from Robbie. It is a Dendrobium Dream Ace, if you can see it. So I cannot wait for all of these to start blooming, especially this one, a Dendrobium Wasi... Wasii, Wasili. So I'm actually probably going to mount this one up. I don't like mounted orchids anymore. I know I did a lot of tutorial videos, but they are a pain, a pain um, to, to just take care of. I mean, I live in Florida and the humidity is really high, but every single one that I've done from Oncidiums to uh, Dendrobiums, they've all just gotten wrinkly. But I will pot that one up, uh, not pot that one, I will mount that one up because I like the way they look mounted and I think that it'll be a lot more durable. All right, so here is a Mystictium Distichium. I don't know if I said that correctly, but it is actually, if you can see, it is in bloom. You can't really see it, but I have two little blooms coming out on that. I think I'm actually going to split this one up and start growing them in different places. I like that. Uh, this one, it kind of reminds me of a succulent. I don't know. I just like the way it looks. All right, where I've hidden them everywhere. All right, this one is an Epi Kauai White Carmella. So this makes beautiful white flowers. It's like um, 
It's like the ones that the reed orchids that are also known as the crucifix orchids, uh, but it's pure white and it's bred by Carmela. So um, these are all from Carmela orchids. He did an order and he actually gave gave me a whole bunch of them. He did two Mother's Day orders. So um, he said, "Come over and pick whatever you want." I was like, oh, "Yeah, okay, sure." All right. No, those are from a different place. Okay, let's look. Let's look. What's down here? Okay. So here's one that I have got to treat for I think it has a fungal infection, but it's a Dendrobium violet yaginolo. So, I haven't really looked this one up, but if you can see, it's got little dots and everything. I'm going to actually this just started, so I'm going to put it in here. I did have it soaking in water because the canes were really, really, really shriveled. Um, but it has a new growth on it. It should do good. I'm just going to treat it real quick with some fungicide. And if that doesn't work, just uh, let the leaves fall off on their own. All right. Oh, here's one. Oh, you know, the Stanhopia that I just got was gorgeous and it was in bloom. But if you look above me, all the blooms fell off. There's one down there. And I was a little disappointed that it didn't smell. Now, this is one that I already have. It's the uh, Monerera Millennial Magic Witchcraft. So I don't know what I'm going to do with this one. I might trade it for something. I'm looking for many different things to add to my collection. So I might trade it. But it is blooming size. It looks great. I mean, the fronds are just gorgeous. Um, here is the one that I have, which is already going into dormancy. But look at those flowers. They should pop any day now. They cannot wait. All right, I'm going to sit down from here because I found some more. Now, this is a um, Epi polybulbin, which I looked at. I think it has white flowers. I like it because it kind of reminds me of a maxillaria the way it is and it kind of looks like a bulbophyllum. So I'm actually very excited about that. I don't care what you say. Oh, I love the lighting right here. All right, and then I have a Dikea Hendersonina Kelsey and Ryan CCE dash AOS in 2012. So this is one that oh it's really wet that's good um it actually i can't wait for it to bloom i like the way it blooms i think that this one has already bloomed because i do not see any buds on the spike so we'll see how that goes now if you oh we couldn't watch that video but i did get one of these from carmela orchids on a small little piece of stag fern and the thing about mounted orchids they're really hard to keep watered and it just did not survive. So I put the other one outside in a pot. Um, I can tell you the name of that one later. But I do have a Neo Style that I got. It is unnamed. It has beautiful little pink flowers. It just got done flowering. But I got to enjoy it and it smelled so nice. Um, this is another one from Robbie as well. And then I got SLC Raja Ruby Sweetheart. There you go. This one looks great. Um, it does have a new growth coming in right there. Um, it It is blooming size because if you can see, there's an old sheath. This is not actually really good lighting, is it? There's an old sheath in there. So I'm excited about that. All right, another epi. So there we go. This is a Mabel Kanda mixed with an encyclia randi so i am excited to see what this one looks like i love the way that it's growing i mean look at those pseudobulbs they just look gorgeous and then it has this wonderful new growth coming in right there um i do not see i don't know how this one blooms so i don't know if it blooms from the bottom or the top but hopefully we'll find out soon all right, let's get in here. There's a few more. All right, this one is the BLC Golf Green um, Hair Pig. Now, I don't see any old sheaths, and I, I see a, oh, a little nubbin. So that's new, uh, an actual new, new growth that's 
down there. You can't really see it. I need to get a video camera. If anybody wants to send me a video camera, you are more than welcome to. Just putting that out there. Uh, but the the reason I like this, if you've ever seen a uh, Brassavola Digbiana, which again, I know it has changed names, but that's the way I learned it and that's what I'm going to call it. Uh, but a Brassavola Digbiana has beautiful flowers and the lip of the flowers has um, a lot of ruffles around it. It kind of looks like, uh, I don't know what it looks like. I can't really tell you, but it kind of looks like hair. Um, this one is like that. It actually, it's going to be a green flower and it looks like hair around the lip. So I guess they said it looked like a pig. Hmm, I wish I had named that one. All right. Now here is an EPC. Koyaguchi Fuma. So this one, I need to find these pots because I really, really like them. Now, it has um, a few new growths coming in. And it looks like this was mounted at one point because I don't see a lot of media in there. But I'm going to keep it in here, keep it. I think I'm going to put it outside now um, and see how it goes. I don't even know what this one's going to look like. All right, let's see if there's any more. I showed you that one. Okay, let me show you one of the other really good ones that I got. Oh, here's one. A Dendrobium hab Habaki. So this one, um, I think got a little sun damage, but I counted one, two, three, four, five, six, seven new growths on it already. So this thing is just saying it wants to grow for me. Uh, my bonsai died. I've been taking care of my orchids and not all my other plants. So I let my bonsai die and I'm like, oh, you know what? I might just have to uh, do a video because it's cute. It's a cute little pot. And I might turn it into a Neophenicia falcata pot, even though it's a little wide. Why not? So I'll be uh, mounting up a Neophenicia. I've already got the sphagnum moss ready. And um, I'm going to actually do a little tutorial video on how to do that, which I learned from a tutorial video. All right, now this one I need help identifying because I love the way it looks. It looks like grass, and it kind of reminds me of a Maxillaria tinifolia, which is about to bloom as well. But um, it kind of grows like one, too. If you look, it has the really cool pseudobulbs, and they grow on top of each other. Um, it does have an old... Bloom spike right there where my nose is. It's picking my nose. Uh, but it does have an old bloom spike, so it is blooming size. I do not know what it is, so I don't know what it looks like, so I couldn't look it up. All right, and then the other one that I got that is looking great and is actually, this flower is probably about to fall off. And the cool thing is, another one is coming right after it because that's how they go. So I finally got a Psychopsis. I am very excited. It doesn't smell. I know it's not fragrant, but to me, it looks like a fairy queen. Very excited about that one. All right, what else did I do on my video? Oh, I tried to pollinate a few Phalaenopsis orchids, as I was telling you, uh, just to get my mind off things. Apparently, I did not do it right because they all just kind of withered up and died, and none of them turned into seed pods. Even my large white Phalaenopsis did not, nothing happened. Nothing at all happened. So, you know, I, I'm going to wait until they all bloom again. And I'm going to do it in the greenhouse in a very sterile environment. Um, I'm going to actually have a sterile room. I cannot wait because once I get seed pods, maybe I'll even try to, um, you know, get some agar agar. And maybe I'll try to make some flask. I don't know how to. I will figure it out. That's the good thing about YouTube, though. <laughs> all right. So, um, the other thing I showed was my catacetony experiment. Now, I did water them for the first time because some of them are at that size that they wanted to be watered. But it seemed like where all the plugs were, because I, I left them in their plugs, where, where all the plugs were started a major fungus outbreak or mold. It could have been mold. I don't know. But I doused it with... Um, fungicide and they all look like they're doing really good now some of them the leaves are turning a little bit brown i'm not too worried about it because i see a lot a lot a lot of new growths and the roots are literally going crazy i love catacetony type orchids 
Um, other than that, um, I went over that one, showed you that one, showed you that one. All right, I believe that's it. Now, one really cool thing, um, another orchid tuber who is the, I believe his name is the Growing Grunt, uh, just had a giveaway for reaching 100 um, subscribers. So I, of course, entered. Um, I just wanted to go ahead and subscribe to his channel so that he can get up to 100. I'm only a little over 100 subscribers right now. But he, oh, yeah, I already showed you that one. Um, he did a giveaway, put it, it, it was kind of cool how he did it. I wish I had my dog trained like this, but he put all the names in a pot and then he threw all the names on the floor and told his dog to pick one. His dog picked one and it was me, the orchid prince. So I'm very excited. Uh, I don't think he was actually giving away an orchid. Now, if I remember correctly, he was giving away orchid supplies. So um, I will do an unboxing video. He said it's in the mail. Hopefully it'll be here by Thursday. Um, but be looking, be, look forward to that video. And because of that, I think I'm actually going to do a giveaway. And I have not decided on which one I wanna give. Oh, before I get ahead of myself. But I will be doing a giveaway. I don't know what I'm going to give away yet. I will pick something. Last time it was the Awanagara Apple Blossom, which I had a little bit of trouble with. I put it in the mail. Um, and then about a week later, I received it back in the mail. And the canes were just so shriveled. I tried to nurse it back to health. Uh, I felt really bad because, you know, I messaged the winner and said, hey, you know, I want to try to nurse it back to health. I, I soaked it in water to get the canes plump again, but I think some of the roots were destroyed during shipping as well. Um, it's just crazy how downhill it went so fast. But um, I think she might be able to pull it through. Uh, but I did send her uh, one of the catasetny type orchids that I, I have for my experiments. And um, I sent her another cat Leia too, uh, because I just felt so bad. It's not an Awanagara, but you know what? Next time I get an Awanagara, I'll send it straight to her. But this time shipping should go a lot easier. I don't know what I did. I did something wrong, but um, excited about the giveaway. Oh, this is what I was gonna say. So there are a couple of things with Orcaholics Anonymous that are going on. Um, I believe they're called Project Plants. And I got, I got them in the mail and I did a mail video too, but I did not get to post it and it was on my other phone. So this is the first video that's actually going to be on this phone. But, um, I did, I even did a potting video for this, but these right here are BLC rustic spots, H and R. And I'm very excited because they are gorgeous the way they look. It kind of reminds me of the foxy orchids. And then, um, I got two of these. And then the project plant, which I believe, um, something nurseries. Let me look it up real quick. But Austin's Nursery uh, did a project plant, and they look so good. And they are the um, Cattleya Oprah Winfrey's. So I'm excited about that. It's a beautiful purple flower. Um, supposed to be very fragrant. This one looks great. It has a new growth. The other one does not have a new growth, but the roots are so healthy on everything that I received. Um, that's why I wanted to mention that I felt bad for the roots from my giveaway. So I will do another uh, giveaway soon. I think that is all that I went over. Um, so I've gone over everything I got in the mail. Oh, and one other thing, because I think this was on the last video as well. Let me see if I can find it. I'm sorry, I'm going over 20 minutes, but you get a big tour of my house before I actually leave. I don't like the color in this room, but uh, Bart Motes and I had a brief little conversation over the intro net, and I told him that I wanted to do some experiments with Vandas uh, for you guys, and um, I do... Uh, little classes here and there at the Yellow Green Market um, here in South Florida where I do potting demonstrations and I teach people how to mount up orchids, which I just told you I don't like mounted orchids. But a lot of people do. They love the aesthetic of it. But um, anyway, 
Uh, I told them that I wanted to start doing Vandas because Vandas are extremely epiphytic. They don't need sphagnum moss or anything. They just need the humidity of outside. So mounting something like a Vanda is not as hard as mounting something with pseudobulbs or canes or anything because they don't really shrivel up. If they start, I mean, their leaves will shrivel a little bit, but they're pretty good with their roots because their roots are aerial roots. So it's, it's actually meant to be on on just pure wood, uh, which I guess all epithetic things are just supposed to be on pure wood. But anyway, um, and before I actually start any of those experiments, he's like, I think that you could do with reading my book. It's not his book. It's actually his dad's book. Um, and so I, re I received it in the mail and I cannot wait to start reading it. But this is uh, Florida Vanda growing month by month. And it is by his father, Dr. Martin Motes, um, who has been uh, cultivating Vandas for over 50 years. Uh, if you know anything about Vandas, if you are in the Orca Society at all, even a fresh newbie should know about the Motes family because it is, I mean, they have amazing, amazing, amazing Vandas which if you look at the orchid festivals and everything that happened here in South Florida, what do you think's on the front? Oh yeah, huh. it is a Moats orchid. So a lot of people get very hyped up when the Moats families actually come to their orchid society. Um, so I'm very excited about this because now I can tell you firsthand uh, what the Dr. Moats says about, you know, Florida. Now, it is just Florida orchid growing. It's in the thing. So a lot of these tips might not work if you live in New Jersey and stuff like that. Nothing wrong with New Jersey. You've got family up there. But this is just Florida orchid growing. So once I um, get into my greenhouse, I will, of course, do a tour of the greenhouse. And then I'll show you how the Vandas are going to start doing. And I will try to follow it month by month. It goes literally month by month and tells you um, things to do. So I'm very excited about that. Thank you so much, Bart Motes. I'm very, very excited to start reading it. My partner does not like it because I always read it at night and he doesn't like having the light on, but I got him a salt lamp and he likes having a salt lamp on, which just is, it's like my night light now. So anyway, um, I guess that is it. I have started a new Facebook page. Um, it is yeah, you can search for it. There's a lot of people called Orchid Prince on Facebook, which is really weird because that's my name. But uh, my email address is theorchidprince at yahoo.com. So you can always search me using that. Uh, but that's what I'm going to leave you on. I'm going to put a link below, again, if I can figure it out. Uh, I'm going to put a link below to my Facebook page. It is brand new. I think I'm only members with like Orcaholics Anonymous. And that's it because that's the only one you got to be members with. But um, this has been The Orchid Prince, and I'm out.